Hey everyone, it's Deja back with a new makeup tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to take is my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir Drops and apply that to the skin. I'm only going to apply a little bit because a little goes a long way and I really like a light moisturizer for my skin. Um, especially with the base on my makeup just because I'm already kind of oily and especially in the summer I don't need a super heavy moisturizer. I really like this product because... It blends in really nicely, it absorbs um, into my skin nicely, and I think it's just great. It's universal for um, all seasons, really. Um, I like it because it just leaves like a natural, um, dewy look to my skin. I use this every day, with or without makeup, so this is definitely a highly recommended product. Next, I'm gonna take my Farsali Unicorn Tear Primer. And then I'm going to apply that to the face. Again, I'm only going to use about three drops because a little goes a long way and I don't need too much onto my skin. But it's very important to use a primer for your, um, for your base uh, as well before you apply your foundation. Just because it's good to have that extra barrier between your foundation and your skin. You really don't want any of that makeup or dirt or oil to seep into your skin and clog up your pores and eventually cause breakouts. So putting a primer on is like adding a protectant layer before you apply your foundation and the rest of your makeup. Once that is all blended in, I'm going to take my Morphe eyeshadow primer. This is actually my first time using this primer in this video, so this is like a full, full on like first impressions. I really like this primer. Um, I typically use concealer as a pr as a priming base before my eyeshadow, so I'm trying something a little different and actually using a legit <laughs> eyeshadow primer. I really like it. Um, I'm impressed. I like how easy it is to blend in, and I'm going to blend it in with my fingers because I feel like I, I can get a little bit more control with it. Um, and it's just, I feel like it's just a great, uh, easy, simple eyeshadow primer. So first I'm going to take my ColourPop Element of Surprise palette. I really like this palette. It's full of neutral tones and it has a pop of pink, which I really like. And in the back you're going to see the names of the shades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get a base shade for my eyeshadow. So on the first row of my palette, it's going to be there, uh, a middle shade right there. It is called La uh, Labyrinth. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid as a base to my eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use a buffing brush to blend that out. Um, I like this um, shade. It's very, very nude, so it blends in nicely. And it just, it just creates a nice setting base for my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to take a deeper chocolate shade called Details, and I'm going to apply that into my crease. I'm just going to go back and forth in windshield wiping motions to just to get some more dimension onto my lid and just blend that out. And this is really where the adding dimension begins. Once you put that deeper shade into your crease, that kind of lays the foundation for the rest of your eye makeup and creates, and then you add dimension on top of it. And then after that, I'm going to take this nice mauve color. It's Well, it's not really mauve. It's more of a, um, a deep burgundy brown, and it's called Peace of Mind. And I'm also gonna add that into my crease to add more dimension. And again, I'm just going to do windshield wiping motions. I'm kind of going in circular motions just to pack it on in that area. Blending is the secret, you guys. Seriously, with anything. Your eyeshadow, your foundation, everything. Blending is key. So that's usually why I take so long uh, with my eye makeup. Because I'm just doing like insanely amount of blending. See, like right now I'm taking a just a regular blending brush and I'm just going to blend those two shades together to uh, create um, a nice seamless look and not have all those harsh lines between the two shades.
So next I'm going to take Tarte's Chrome Paint Pot and Top Yacht. It's a really nice champagne color. Uh, I really like this and I'm going to add this into the center of my lid. Well, more so in the inner corner of my lid going to about midsection of my inner lid. This is kind of where I'm going to get that pop of color. Um, any type of gold champagne shade, I'm all for it. And I really think it kind of opens your eyes a little bit with, um, with a bright metallic color like that. So I'm also going to go back in and blend that out just to, you know, like I said, uh, take away any kind of harsh lining that may be between the uh, shades and the metallic color. So next I'm going to go back into the shade Peace of Mind and put that more into the outer corner of my lids. Um, after I put on the paint pot, it kind of um, uh, smeared and I guess it kind of took off a little bit more color. So I'm just going to add that back in and create more dimension. So now I'm going to actually mix the shades Peace of Mind and Details, and I'm going to smudge that under my um, waterline, if I can find the tool for it. Now this is just going to kind of wrap the whole look around, and I think it really does complete the look when you smudge this, uh, the shade at the bottom, just to kind of smoke it out and make it look kind of complete. Oops. Some of the powder got into my eyes, so if you see me frantically blinking, that's that's why. And it sucks because I can't even rub it in. It's so ooh, it's so annoying. So my eyes are watery. Really sensitive. <laughs> so once that is finished, for now, <laughs> I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the shade Honey, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. I love this foundation stick. This is my second. I think that I purchased and I absolutely love it. It's really buildable and you can create your own coverage if you want. Light coverage, medium, full, you, it's all in your control. And I like it because it's a nice matte um, finish, but it's not too, too matte. And it, doesn't, and it doesn't look cakey on my skin. It blends in really nice and seamlessly. I'm gonna take my Fenty Facing Kabuki brush and blend that out. I'm also going to use the Mario Badescu uh, facial spray just to add some, you know, some, some moisture to it. It's kind of like using a damp beauty blender, so if that helps, which I also use. That's like my holy grail. Using a, a, a damp beauty blender really does change the game. But this is also a really good uh, blending brush. So it's not only good for the body lava, guys. <laughs> it's really good for your foundation. I like it. I've been using it for the past couple weeks now. And it's really good to also almost press the product into your skin so that way you're not just dragging your foundation around causing streaks um, you kind of just want it to stay in place so it's really good to use patting motions when you're blending out your foundation so next I'm going to take my KKW Beauty concealer in the shade 8 and apply that under my eyes once on my forehead and along my nose and my chin I don't like using too much, so that's why I'm only using a tad bit. And now I'm just taking my Fenty Highlight and Conceal Brush and blending that out. I really like this concealer. It's really brightening and uh, when you pair it up with the powder, it's it's literally God sent. <laughs> it really brightens up your eyes. and. Um, it's full coverage, and I, I really like full coverage um, concealer. So once that is blended, I'm going to take my Real Techniques um, setting powder brush, and I'm going to set my T-zone where I applied all of my concealer. And 
Next, I'm going to take my bronzing brush and take Tarte's Hotel Harris. Harris, I believe. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but I'm going to take my bronzer and I'm just going to apply that on my uh, cheekbones around the perimeter of my forehead and a little bit on my nose just to uh, define my nose shape. I feel like bronzing, if you're not going to contour, bronzing would be a good alternative because you're still giving the same effect. You're just not adding the full uh, cream or, uh, you know, powder or anything like that. Well, this is this would be the powder uh, portion of your contour. So sometimes when I don't feel like actually using a cream contour, I'll just bronze it up a little bit with some powder. It also helps add some dimension to your face, so you kind of have that defined uh, features, your cheekbones and your nose. It just emphasizes your face a little bit more, and the highlight helps it center and pop. Next, I'm going to take my KKW uh, baking powder. Actually, no, this is the brightening powder, I'm sorry, and the shade 3, and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes. You can really see that it does help brighten my under eye. I feel like this is completely a game changer. <laughs> Um, I actually was hesitant to try this and uh, buy it, but I'm really glad I did. I really like it. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows, and I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Soft Brown. And this is such a long process. This probably is what makes my makeup application take so much longer than it needs to, just because my brows are so tricky and some days they want to cooperate some days they don't so it's really just an everyday battle some days i get lucky others it's horrible and i spend at least 10 minutes on each brow sometimes i just <laughs> i just say forget it and just walk out with my how my brows are done it's such a frustrating process but when they're good they're good and you can see that I'm just outlining the shape of my brows before I fill it in. And I don't like to use um, too much in the center because I don't like making it too dark. I want to try to make it look as natural as I can, um, but also create the, uh, the shape of my brows in a more defined way. So you see, I'm just going to blend that in. I'm also applying lip balm because once I put on my matte lipstick, it'll be, um, my lips are going to be nice and moisturized. So, finished it up. It's not great, but it'll do. <laughs> I typically uh, go back and forth between taking off my eyebrows completely and doing it again, but no one's got the time for that. So, what I'm going to do is clean it up. I'm going to grab a little bit more of the concealer and just uh, shape up the bottom and really just clean, uh, clean up the... Uh, the uh <laughs> the dip brown <laughs> sorry guys all right and then after that i'm just going to take a blending brush and just blend out that concealer That's a sharp tail. Yes. I live for like the sharp tails. <laughs> but I don't like it to be too long, so gotta be careful. Next, I'm going to take a uh, blush brush and then I'm gonna take my Tarte blush and glisten. And I'm just gonna apply that to the top of my cheekbones, well, the apples of my cheeks. And smiling always helps. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm sure I'm not the only one that does it, but um, for some reason, smiling, it kind of makes the blush emphasize and you're, you be able, uh, you're able to tell a little bit uh, more um, and how much blush you want to actually apply. Next, I'm going to take my lashes in the Demi Wispies and apply that. For the longest, I've used um, lash extensions, so I'm still kind of in the beginning stages of how to actually put on false lashes, but I'm doing a lot better. It's not horrible. 
<laughs> and next I'm going to take my Better Than Sex mascara and put some mascara on my lower lash line or on my lower lashes, my apologies. Some people don't actually um, put mascara on their bottom lashes and this is totally like your preference preference you don't have to but I just personally love doing it I feel like it kind of completes my look does anyone else make that like funny face when they put on their mascara I know I'm not the only one it's like for some reason if you leave your mouth open then your whole facial like your your whole facial muscles will just stop <laughs> and so you don't, you don't have to worry about tw uh, twitching or anything like that so anyway next I'm going to take my red lip liner and just line out my lips preparing to add my lipstick and I don't fill it in all the way because I feel like that would kind of take away the place of like the actual lipstick so I'm going to take Kylie Cosmetics Boss and I'm going to fill in my lips I absolutely love this lipstick this is also my first time using this um, in this video so I really got to see how bright and pretty the color really was on my lips it's so pretty With red lips, it's kind of tricky because I feel like when you put it on, it's so easy to tell if you go outside the line. So I'm taking some concealer and I'm just shaping up um, my line on my lips just to clean it up a little bit. Next, I'm going to take my highlighter, Laura Geller, in the shade Honey and apply that to my cheekbones. I think that's the shade Honey. I could be mistaken. I don't know. but you can get any highlighter you want. Um, today I just decided to use this, which is a really good highlighter. I like it because it's subtle and it's not too much, but I'm obsessed with highlighters, so any kind will do. And I'm just gonna add that to the top of my cheeks and the tip of my nose and a little bit on the bridge of my nose. I'm going a little crazy with the highlighter, but, you know, let a girl live. <laughs> All right. Just have to fix up my, <laughs> my blouse. Next, I'm going to take some more Mario Badescu facial spray, and that is just to set the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you are going to be um, around for my next tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this look. Bye.